This video will provide a quick demonstration of getting started with the Curic Strata user interface. First, it's important to understand the concept of projects. A project is a virtual space for organizing all your files, such as data tables, scripts, queries, and reports. When you first install Strata, you start out with a default project, but you can add as many as you'd like using the project manager. If you'd like to use this new project by default each time you open Strata, you can easily do this by just changing the project preferences. In my current project, I have a variety of items which can be opened up with just a double click of the mouse. Each item then appears in its own separate tab. If I wish to see more than one tab at once, I can simply drag them around. And we can also reposition the tab order. Similarly, I can also move the various panels around. And then I can also open and close them to customize my view using the panel icons in the bottom left corner. So let's look at a few of these tabs. With the data browser, you can browse the web as you normally would, like going to Google and typing in Curix. However, Strata also lets you do other things like open data directly from the web, such as this HTML table, or write scripts using web APIs. Now we're currently looking at an untitled tab, but I can easily save it to my project by clicking the save icon. As far as using the table, many of the specific controls are available as icons in the toolbar, such as grouping. Other tools are available by right-clicking on field headers, such as sorting. Additionally, there are context-sensitive tools available by right-clicking cells, in this case marking counties with more than 40 lakes. Within tables, I can also change my column view by simply moving columns around. In addition, I can right-click to hide them. And if I want to put them back in, I just need to open up the field panel to insert them. Now by default, my data can't be edited. However, if I turn off the Protect Data option, I can edit cells directly. In addition, I can also add a new record. Strata also offers different views for any given item. For instance, in a table, we can change from the table view to the design view. In the design view, we see the table's structure, including field name and type. Here we could add a new column or change an existing field name. We can also toggle back and forth using the switch view icon. These views are also available in other tabs, like the report design view, and then the page layout view. Here's the query design view, the table view, the SQL view, and then back to the design view. If I ever need to create new items, I can do this using the file menu. This is also the menu where I can open up external data tables like CSV files or create a connection to an external database. I can also take any existing table and transform it to another format by saving it externally. Lastly, if you have any questions, you'll find value in the help menu. Here you can find the help manual as well as a link to the online support forums. So that was a quick overview of getting started with the user interface. Thanks for watching and please check out some of our other tutorial videos for more detailed help on using the software.